Hi, I'm Paul Pasulka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at test three, section three, number 12, which reads, in the quadratic equation above, A is a non-zero constant. The graph of the equation xy plane is a parabola with vertex CD, which of the following is equal to D. So we see here we have vertex form of the parabola. There's three different ways you could solve for the vertex. What I'm going to do here is what I think is the most efficient, easy way to solve for it. Now, it's going to take a little while to explain, but once you've got it, it's really simple. And then I'll look at another couple ways to solve it as well. So if you've got, let's just focus on x minus 2, x plus 4. Now, most of you could tell that here your x-intercepts are 2 and negative 4. Okay, so it would make logical sense. Parabolas are symmetric. So the x part of the vertex, in math class you call this the axis of symmetry, is always going to be exactly between your two x-intercepts. And if it's exactly between, what do you do? You literally, you take the average. So if we do 2 plus negative 4 over 2 and divide by how many? You get negative 2 over 2. You get negative 1. Negative 1 is the axis of symmetry, otherwise known as the vertex. Now, if I take that and I plug it in over here, then what I wind up with is negative 1 minus 2, negative 1 plus 4, and remember, you do the parentheses first here, you get negative 3 times positive 3, and you get negative 9 is the y part of the vertex. Now, here when it says the vertex is CD and it's looking for D, in other words, it's looking for the y part of the vertex. Remember, you have that A up there as well. So here your correct answer is negative 9A. Okay. Now, if you wanted to... There's other ways you can do this. Now, let's say you were given the form x squared plus 2x minus 8. In that case, and this is how you usually do it in math class, you do negative b over 2a. So what's your b? It's 2. So it's negative 2 over 2. What's your a? It's 1. So you get negative 2 over 2, which will give you negative 1. And that's another way you could do it. Plug it in and then you get your y part of the vertex. Okay, last way you could do this, and this is probably the least desirable way for students to do it, but at the end there is something here that you should know. Once again, we've got your x squared plus 2x minus 8, and in math class, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put it in vertex form of the parabola, and then we're going to be able to tell, based on that vertex form of the parabola, what the vertex is. In math, and we have to get to that form by completing the square because we've got to make a perfect square. In math class, usually, I set it equal to zero here. Usually you would do something like this, and you get x squared plus 2x, and it's b over 2 quantity squared. That's how you get the constant on the left, how you always form a perfect square. So what's my b here? Well, if I have the form ax squared plus bx plus c, you can see here in this equation here that my a equals 1, my b equals 2, my c equals, that's what we're finding here. So if we put our b over 2, that's 2 over 2, which is 1 squared, which is 1, I put plus 1. I'm going to underline it because i got to make sure that I add it to the other side. So it equals 8 plus 1 because I have my 8 over here, 0 plus 8, and then my plus 1 that I added to the left to keep the equation balanced. And now I can write this left side as a perfect square. To write the left side as a perfect square, all you do is take half of the middle, so it's a positive 2, so it's going to be a positive 1, so it's x plus 1 quantity squared, equals, on the other side you have a 9. Then you subtract your 9 from both sides, x plus 1 quantity squared minus 9 equals 0. And here you can tell that your vertex is negative 1, negative 9. How do you know? Well, if it's in the form x minus h quantity squared plus k 
hk. That's your vertex. And notice since it's minus h in the parentheses, the x part of the vertex is always opposite what you see in the parentheses. So we see a positive 1 in that parentheses. So the x part of the vertex is negative 1. y part of the vertex is outside the parentheses, negative 9. Now, you probably don't want to complete the square here, but you do need to know that for some of your circle problems. And also, here you could see that um, you would have to be able to recognize what the vertex is based on vertex form of the parabola for some other problems on SAT. But that first way I did it, that's your go-to. That's what you want to do when you're doing these problems. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble finding the vertex, or you could put their name in the comments, or you could also put in the comments any question that you have from any past SAT or PSAT or ACT, and click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.